This is our week 10 day three review and I love it because we were just talking about this in class this week, this past week. So how can four one hundredths be written as a decimal? Well I know and I'm going to put at the top here that I have my ones place, then my decimal point, and then it goes tenths, and then hundredths. So if I have four one hundredths, that means I don't have any ones. And then I have my tenths and my hundredths place. Well, I have four one hundredths, so I'm going to put a four in the hundredths place. And that means I need to fill in a zero there to hold that tenths place, which matches letter C. Number two, the snake was 37 hundredths of a yard long. What is this length as a decimal? So again, I'm at that hundreds place. I don't have a whole number out front. So I have a zero out front, and then I'm going to go to my hundreds place. Well, I have 37 hundredths, so I fill in my numbers. 37, making sure that I end in that hundreds place. So it matches letter B. Letter, or number three, look at the number line. What is the number represented by the arrow? So it looks like I see tenths. So four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. And in between each tenth is a hundredth. So this would be 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. And because it goes to the second place, it would be hundredths. So 57 hundredths. And that matches A. We don't want a decimal with a fraction, okay? Those don't ever go back together. This is five whole, and I didn't have five whole, I only had five tenths. See, I still have zero for my whole number, so I can't have that. 57 tenths is an improper fraction, which means I would need more than a whole, and I don't have that either. Okay? Number four, what is five tenths rewritten as a decimal? Well, I don't have anything written out front, so I have zero for my whole number. And tenths is one place after the decimal point, and I've got five of them. So that matches D, because I can put as many zeros as I want on the end, as long as that five is in that tenths place. Number five, what two numbers is 0 0.71 between? So just like we did for number three, I'm going to make a number line. And I would have 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay, and here these would all have six something, 61, 62, 63. So that doesn't work. In between here, I would have... 71, 72, 73 hundredths, and that's where that one would go. So it would be between 7 tenths and 8 tenths. Okay, the 6 and the 7 is too small, and these two are hundredths. Well, I have already a 7 in my tenths place, so it's bigger than those. And number 6, where is 2 hundredths located on the number line? Okay, to help me out, I'm going to write it as a decimal. That's two hundredths. So I have zero tenths, so I'm not even here yet. So I can't be C or D, because those are bigger than one tenth, and I don't have any tenths. So I'm going to start at zero, then I have one hundredth, two hundredth. So it would be A. Okay. That's our review for week 10, day three.